Welcome back everyone to my Aston Villa career on Football Manager 2020. In the previous episode, we we did alright on the opening day of the new season, being newly promoted as well, up against Liverpool at home. It finished 1-1. I'm, I'm really happy with that. It was a decent performance that we put in. We weathered the storm of the likes of Salah, Mane and Firmino. We did okay. And since then, I've played a couple of games off camera, including the two tricky away trips to West Ham and Bournemouth. And also the second round of the Carabao Cup was drawn. And I played that before we head into today's game against Arsenal. So at first, after that decent performance against Liverpool, we were on the road for our first away game of the season we was down in East London to take on West Ham. This one, again, another draw, ended 0-0, completely goalless. I was expecting a tough game at West Ham, and it was a tough game. Our defence, it did us proud in this one. Tom Heaton was solid as well, having to weather 18 shots, 7 of those on target from West Ham. We did see more of the ball. We saw 61%. Shame we couldn't have done a bit more with that in the final third. Up next, we're on the coast against Bournemouth. And it was our first win of the new Premier League season. It finished 1-0 to Villa with Anwar El Ghazi getting on the score sheet. The difference maker between both sides. Bournemouth, they haven't had the, uh, the best of starts for the new season. They've picked up a few losses here and there. A bit down in the dumps for Bournemouth. Poor start. Uh, so we kind of took advantage of that. Uh, even though we, we did just come away with the one goal. Which, as you'll see here, here is Al Ghazi just outside the box. Has a bit of help from the post. It's a cracking finish. And finally, before we get into today's game against Arsenal at Villa Park in the Premier League, we were drawn against Ipswich in the Carabao Cup second round. We beat them 3-1 to book our place in the third round. It's a dominating performance, really, as you'd expect. El Ghazi on the score sheet again, so that's two games in a row. Samata also scored, but you'll notice that one of that summer signings. He's only on loan at the moment, mine. But Angel Gomez managed to get on the score sheet. So let's uh, let's go and have a look at that goal. Not the prettiest of goals. It came from a corner. It's just a simple tapping on the line. So we are through to the next round, the third round. We've been drawn away to Sheffield United. That's going to be tough. But in the Premier League, things are looking okay at the moment. We're eighth with just five points to our name. A win here against Arsenal will obviously push us up into those European spots, but it's still early days. Only four games in. This is the last game before the international break. So it'd be, it'd be nice to uh, cap off the month and just look at Liverpool. Ever since we drew against Liverpool, they haven't been able to get out of the bottom half of the table. You know, i take a point from today's game. Last game before the international break. Let, let's go for it. So team news then, not much to note. David Luiz, suspended, of course. And uh, we've only got Bastian out. Uh, he's doubtful with a tight calf. Arsenal, they also have three players that are doubtful, but that doesn't really matter on FM. Normally they, they play anyway, especially if they're key players. Let's see then what we can uh, we can do against Arsenal. Full lineups then. Nylands in goal, Mings and Engels start. Douglas Luiz, Drinkwater and McGinn in midfields. Grealish, El Ghazi. Had to start the form he's in at the moment and Wesley. For Arsenal, Leno's in goal. Klasenac, Mari, Chambers, Cedric, Torreira, Xhaka, Ozil, Pepe, Lacazette and Abamyang. Let's see what we can do against Arsenal. Nice bit of early pressure there from the uh, goal kick. Here is Meza Ozil on the ball. And Xhaka, here is Klasenac now on the overlap. Well won that, and he's kept the ball alive, El Ghazi. He's done well the last couple of weeks, finding the back of the net twice. Be nice if uh, he could do it again here against Arsenal. Mings, good driving ball forwards to find Grealish. Straight into Leno. Comfortable as you like, there we go. Back to Nyland. Tyrone Mings, be careful please. Target. Grealish, oh this is beautiful football from Villa. Grealish Knight on the move finds El Ghazi as he switches the play. El Ghazi in for Wesley. He's gone for goal. It's really promising stuff. As we enter that final third, we have... It's 1-0. Come on. 
And it's El Ghazi again. I was about to say, we've looked the the better side in the final thirds. Look more threatening. And there we go. We've opened up the score and through an El Ghazi header. Take the short free kick. And goals to Mings. Look at the way we pass the ball around. We look so confident on it against a team like Arsenal. And El Ghazi's done well to win that. And Wesley! <gasps> Wesley makes it two. We're two nil up against Arsenal, and we've still got just a little time remaining before the the whistle for half time. Klasenac, oh my words, what is he doing? Loses out to Al Ghazi. He finds Wesley, and he absolutely smashes that, giving the keeper no chance. Two nil up against Arsenal before the break. They're fired up though, Arsenal. Is there? We've got a throw here, an attacking throw. El Ghazi, it's a good position. Get the ball in, concert. He has. And Grealish has made it three. Oh my words. Come on. Just pump it into my veins. That feeling of FM is back. 3 0 up against Arsenal before half time. Arsenal just slow off the mark to close down concert. He whips in the ball. McGinn heads it on. And Grealish is there at the far post to. Volley it past the keeper. 3 0 up against Arsenal. Does it get any better than that? I bet you, though, because we've took such a, a staggering lead here at half time, there's something, uh, there's something brewing with FM. A comeback is, it almost feels as though there's a comeback on the cards here. McGinn, Douglas Louise. Oh, what a ball that is! Drinkwater's in! Oh, he's put it wide. Let's just let's just rewind, shall we? Can I I wanna go to the pitch. How do I get back to that? Oh, I wanna see that ball. Let's rewind. Look at this ball from McGinn. This is what I'm talking about with John McGinn, that vision. Here is McGinn. Look at the run that Danny Drinkwater makes. There's number four. McGinn now. There's Drinkwater, he's away. What are these? Klasenach, Mary, who's at fault here? What are they doing? McGinn, oh my word, what a ball. If he'd have put that into the back of the net. Target heads it to McGinn, Grealish, Douglas Louise. Careful here. They are pressing Arsenal. McGinn, through for Grealish. Is this four? No, it's not. It's straight at the keeper. It's going to be a Villa corner. If we can make it four, it's definitely the game, dead and buried. Let's go ball in. Arsenal making a change. Off goes Xhaka on for the more attacking Danny Ceballos. Ceballos? Ceballos? Maitland-Niles who's also come on here. Looking sharp. Here he is now. Ceballos. Out wide to Kolasinac. Oh, here we go. It's 3-1. I'm going to tell the players I'm going to demand a bit more and see if we can get that fourth. But it is 3-1. Maitland-Niles and Sabalos linking up the uh, fresh legs on the pitch. That's some finish, that, from Kolasinac. On the left as well. Up into the top right-hand corner. Across the front of goal. Louise on a yellow card. He's going to have to be careful. Here's a throw. We've lost it. No, we haven't. Maitland-Niles. Here we go. Lacazette on the move. Lacazette. It's in. It's Maitland-Niles. Yeah, here we go. It's 3-2. Ten minutes to go. Right. We're shutting up shot. Let's uh, take that off. Regroup. Hold shape. Drop this all the way down. Screw it. I want that. them three points before we head into the international break. What a win this would be. What a statement of intent this would be as well. It's a pity that we fell apart at the back conceding those two goals but if we can uh, hold firm here slow the pace down and defend this this lead and win those three points we'll just see the replay of that Maitland-Niles goal who's uh, playing in central midfield he has come on he's the fresh legs obviously Mikel Arteta saw something in him to bring him on in the second half instead of starting him. And that's what he's brought to the plate. An absolute rocket. That thumper 
up into the top right. So we're going to tell the players to concentrate. Not long to go. Come on, just hang in there, lads. Hang in. They're looking overwhelmed by the uh, the feedback. And there we go. What a win. 3-2. Yeah, it's a shame we conceded those two goals. But 3-2, I couldn't have asked for a better performance. That first half performance. Wow. What feeling to go into the international break with. A platform to build upon. This team, man, it has so much potential. Such a youthful side as well. What would you put that first half performance down to? I mean, look at the amount of yellow cards that they had. They just couldn't contain us in that first half. What would you put it down to? That first half for Arsenal, would you put it down to the fact that they were missing uh, David Luiz? No, I don't think so. So there we go. Aston Villa hold firm to deny Arsenal. We beat them 3-2. John McGinn with the man of the match. He was superb in central midfield. Spraying those passes out left and right through the middle. We're just going to go ahead and praise him. Be passionate. He really appreciates it. That's good to see. So the weekend's results look like this. We've beaten Arsenal. That was the first game of the day. Let's just finish up things. Liverpool beating Bournemouth there. Liverpool getting one over on Bournemouth. I think that's... Uh, is that Yeah, that was their first win of the season. Arsenal were unbeaten as well heading into that game against us, which is even better. So Villa's return to the Premier League has been nothing but spectacular. A 1-1 draw against Liverpool, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. A 0-0 draw against West Ham, it's always tricky there. Our first win against Bournemouth, decent. And that one against Arsenal, well... That's given us so much incentive now to push on. We've got Everton next. I think I'm going to come back to you guys for the Tottenham game. So a few games to uh, to go over before we take on Spurs. That's it for this episode then. What a win against Arsenal. I'll see you all soon for the next one. Thanks for watching.